Hello everyone, and welcome back to Widget Wisdom, your go-to channel for all things for Flutter. Today, we're diving into the world of search bar in app bar, so as you can see, in the app bar we have a search icon, and when we tap on this button, then a new search bar has been appeared in which, you can search from your data, and then the suggestion item will appear, and here the matched string have different text style, then the rest of string, and we also going to see how to implement this clear and going back thing is working. So let's start the video. So here I've this empty project, in which I just have this simple app bar. So now come into the lib directory and here create a Dart file as data search, so in this class we will write our all logic for the search. So now here create the data search class, which will extend search delegate class. Now here I've added string for search delegate, because we are going to implement search for string values. Then here we have an error for our data search class, so let's fix this by overriding the for method of search delegate class. So here all these for method has been created and the error has been removed. Then come inside this class and here create a cities list, so this cities list contain the names of cities that users can search for. Then afterwards here create a recent cities list, which will stores the cities that the user has recently searched for. Now come on the build actions method, so this method is going to use for defining the action for search bar or let's say the icons which will appear on the right side of the search bar. Now if you have seen my app bars video, then you know that actions need a list of widget, so from this method return a list, then come inside this list, and here create a icon button, then here come into on pressed method, and then here assign the empty string to this query variable, so this query is the part of search delegate. And this query holds the value of typed content inside the app bar. So here we are assigning the empty string to this query because, in the build actions we are going to add a cross icon, which will help to clear the search bar. I guess I've made myself clear. So now come into the icon part, and here add the cross icon. Now come into the build leading method, so this method is going to used for creating the leading widget for our app bar. So come inside this method and from here return a icon button, and then come inside this on pressed method. And here add the logic for removing the search bar, so here I've added the navigator logic, then come into this icon part, and here add the animated icon widget, then add the icon by using animated icons dot menu arrow, then here give the progress by adding the transition animation. So you may ask why we have added animated icon here, rather than this we can use a normal icon, so here I've added this icon because I want that, when user tap on this icon, then there should be transition animation, so that user can have a much better experience with the UI. Now after this come into the build results method, so this method is going to used for defining the actions that what should happen when user tap on any search item. So here I want that, when user tap on anything then that item should be added on the center of screen. So for doing that, come inside this method, and from here return the center widget, then for its child add the text widget, and then add the query string to it, so that whenever user will tap on any searched item, then that item will be printed on the center of screen. Then come into this build suggestions method, and this is the godfather level method for our search suggestion. Now come inside this method, and here create a final suggestion list, which will going to store the list of searched item. Then here add the condition that if the query is empty then assign the recent cities list. Because till now user haven't searched for anything then, we are going to show that statically created list, and if query is not empty then here we are going to show the filtered list, so for showing that here add cities list then add the where function to it, this where thing will help into filter list. Then here we add a check that if element is starts with the query string, only then add this element to list. So yup now come below this and here add a return then add the list view dot builder, then it needs a item builder, so here first add the context, then index, then here add the list tile widget. So now come inside this widget, and here add a leading icon and assign the location city icon to it. Then add the title, so for title first add the rich text, then inside it for text add the text span, then inside this span add the text, and here assign the current index of suggestion list, then add the substring from zeroth index to query length, so now here if the user searched for anything and then if something is matching from that list, 
then we are going to show the different text style for the matched string, and different text style for non-matched string. So here then add the text style for this text, so here I've made this text to have black color, and bold weight. Then here add the children and again add the text span widget, and here add the text property and add the current index of suggestion list, and then substring of query dot length, so this will return the non-matched string. So now here add the style for this text, and this is not matched text so here add the font color as gray and that's it. Now come outside of this list tile and here add the item count for this list. And the item count is going to be the length of suggestion list. Now let's also add the on tap functionality of this list tile. So here whenever user will tap on any searched item, then we will going to call our show result method, so I've added that. Now this was it for the data search part. Now come into the main.dart file, and then come into the app bar, and then here add the actions property, then add the list, and inside it add the icon button, and assign the search icon to the icon, then come into this on pressed method, and here add the show search, then here for the delegate, add our newly created data search delegate to it. Now run the code, and now when you will tap on this icon button, then you can see our search bar has been opened with some recent search options. Now if you want to search for, let's say New Delhi, and you type the N, then you can see here we have two options, and the typed string is highlighted, and the rest of the thing is having normal style, and now if you tap on any of these items then you can see the selected item is appeared on the screen. And when you are tapping on this cross icon then the search field is becoming empty, and now when you will tap on this arrow icon then it is having this smooth transitioning effect, so yeah that was it for this video. If you have learned something new from this video, then please give us a thumbs up, and please let me know that what you liked or disliked in this video. And if you haven't subscribed to Widget Wisdom, then please do subscribe to us.